Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, and it's now time to take a look back at the tape from the Bills' win over the Falcons with our good friend Eric Wood. E, the Bills got the ground game going this past week with four rushing touchdowns. What did you think of this rushing offense? I was impressed with the way the Bills were able to come out early in the game and throw the football even in the snow. But after the three interceptions, they went to the ground game. They had their highest output on the season, 233 yards on the ground. I was impressed with the way Devin Singletary ran the football, and they utilized him a lot. He goes for over 100 in the game. And they also were able to use some Josh Allen runs to supplement the run game as well. And that's the type of football you want to see from the Bills here in January. All right, well, let's start with Josh's touchdowns. The first one came from a yard out kind of went in untouched. What did you see on this play? Yeah, so the Bills use decoys and they're trying to get all the eyes on the defense to go to the right side of the Bills. And so they put the receiver in motion, goes across the formation, fake the flip to him. And then really there's no one left out there on the outside and Josh Allen essentially walks in. Good blocking on the edge by Tommy Doyle and the rest of the Bills offensive line. Yeah, and then Josh's second touchdown came on the Bills' next possession. It was third down from the four, and it looks like they kind of run the same play, just the other direction. Yeah, you're right, Steve. And this one didn't have the wide receiver in motion at the start of it. This one has everybody lead blocking out in front, running back, pulling offensive linemen, receivers out in front, and Spencer Brown's out in front of this one. Mitch Morse pulls around, Devin Singletary gets a block, and Josh Allen goes in for an easy score here as well and Buffalo's longest plays of the game were both 20-yard runs by Devin Singletary. Let's take a look at the first one. Break this one down for me. So this is essentially a trap play with a read on the backside end. This is a great play designed by Brian Dayball. Josh Allen with the read element is able to hold the backside end long enough for Devin Singletary to get past that down block by Deion Dawkins there. That's a lot of moving parts for a defense to have to analyze. And Devin Singletary does a great job of hitting the hole fast before they can recognize what's coming for the long game. And Motor broke another 20 yarder in the third quarter to set up his first touchdown. What did you see here? Here, Brian Dayball is utilizing the pin and pull scheme, and the Bills are very good at this scheme. I think this is the strength of their run game. They have a lot of athleticism along their offensive line. They also get great blocking here by Dawson Knox on the linebacker, Deion Jones. Mitch Morris pulls around. He's able to get up to the second level and get the linebacker. And there's also only a six-man box on this play, so they're able to block all the defenders in the box, and that's a testament to how much the Falcons respect this pass game. And if they're only gonna play with six guys in the box, these are the type of big runs this Bills offense can reel off. All right, well, let's take a look at Motor's first touchdown. This one came from six yards out. What did you see here? This is a simple zone read. And when Josh Allen's in the red zone, the defense always knows that they have to be cognizant of him being able to run the football. The defensive end stays outside. So that signals to Josh Allen to hand this ball off. And there's great blocking up front. I felt like the offensive line got great push throughout this game. And this is a really tough play for a defense to stop because Josh Allen is so good at running the football, he's gonna hold a lot of the defensive eyes. And then on the very next possession, Singletary scores again for his second of the game. Break this one down. This is an interesting play design. So we would call this a wineback type of play. And so if you initially see the fullback, Reggie Gilliam, he's gonna to go to the right side of the formation. That's gonna suck the linebackers up into the line of scrimmage. He then loops around the left side of the offense and he's able to get the seal block on the outside. Again, great push up front and good vision by Devin Singletary to be able to wind this ball back and then get it in for the touchdown. Great stuff as always. Thanks for this, Eric. We'll catch up with you next week to break down the Bills matchup with the Jets. Looking forward to it, Steve.